In our last video, we talked about the realities of opening a restaurant in San Francisco, but let's say you got through that all and finally opened. Now what? Unfortunately, due to the current pandemic, there's an even longer road ahead of you. So if you've gotten food from any restaurants lately, you've noticed that most places have shifted to delivery and takeout to stand a fighting chance. But it almost seems like a band-aid solution. While yes, it does bring in money, overall restaurant sales are down almost 91% compared to pre-pandemic levels. And even with a solid delivery workflow, it only matters if a restaurant can turn a profit. Cue the delivery apps. Did you know that the standard cut for any given delivery is upwards of 30%? That's over a quarter for every dollar earned just for being the middleman in all this. The mayor did pass an emergency order back in April to limit these commissions to 15%, but most restaurants can't afford not to play the delivery apps game. So my advice, if you're ordering takeout, just give them a call. They're not gonna bite. Perhaps the most promising thing that we're seeing is the shift towards outdoor dining. A safer solution, albeit one that's expensive. You know, a simple parklet can cost anywhere from $5,000 to $30,000, all the way up to $60,000, depending on the size and complexity. Most places are dealing with an entirely different ball game by serving outside, mostly due to things like increased maintenance, slanted sidewalks, and San Francisco's signature summer weather. Of course though, the question on everyone's mind is, will this work? Will this get restaurants through this patch until they're allowed to open up fully again? I honestly don't think that we can answer that question at this point, but we can definitely contribute to the solution. While preparing takeout orders and managing outdoor dining is tough, they're merely a byproduct of the elephant in the room. Yes, the threat of an outbreak associated with any restaurant is scary and can cause some huge disruptions no matter how smoothly things have been going. An example, cassava in the Richmond district had to close for two weeks after one of their employees tested positive, halting all for momentum the restaurant had up until that point. Yeah, so we had to close about two weeks ago because we had a positive case with the staff. But it was really scary. And then we knew that as soon as this happens, we'll make sure we'll make an announcement and close and make sure all other staff test negative twice and then before you know we open back up to public and that's where we are right now the main thing is to protect the staff and who are most vulnerable you know we're just trying to make it as safe as possible it goes without saying operating a restaurant during a pandemic is no joke but with the right attitude and proper guidelines in place there is a path to recovery in the end it's important that we keep supporting our local restaurants so they keep our neighborhoods vibrant for years to come Hey everyone out there, my name is Joey and thanks for watching. Make sure if you haven't already, check out our first video, which is all about what it takes to open a restaurant in San Francisco. And also check out sfsmallbusiness.com for more information on Prop H, which will help streamline the restaurant opening process for everyone. Together SF is all about bringing people together and helping them better understand the city around them. So if you'd like to learn more about how to get involved in your own neighborhood, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And so for our final video in this series, we're gonna focus on the future of restaurants and see why outdoor seating is only the first step in a dining revolution. So be well, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.